Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Connected Services Application or Mazda. First, download the My Mazda app, create a login, and then we're going to add a vehicle. You want to do this while in the car so you can scan your VIN, the little barcode in the door jam, and with your phone camera, scan the, the little barcode, hit verify once it registers, and then in just a moment, you'll see what's next. All right authenticate it hop back in and um, from here you're going to want to name your car and add your selected dealership shout out to mazda roswell make sure to add them if you're local to uh, north atlanta enroll all right we're going to start connected services check off on the agreements for using it agree all right Wait for it to connect and then you'll close that out. Alrighty, and then from there, you'll hit the enroll button on the next screen, a little white box in the center. Make sure the car is on. Hit next and then request the authorization code. And then on your car's screen, in just a second, you'll get a uh, notification with the code. Type that in and then it'll verify the. Uh, code make sure everything connects and then it'll take you to this screen and you're gonna hit next at the bottom all right from here you have your remote for the car you can start and stop you have unlock lock lights hazards all that uh, status of the vehicle you can service uh, schedule right there help at the bottom roadside assistance quick search menu and then in the top right drop down menu one of my favorite things is if you go to my Mazda my vehicle manuals and guides Owner's manual, digital, super easy to use. Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, quick start guides, a little quick tour here. Super easy to connect for either device. You wanna have a USB cable and it connects in the uh, center console. From here, you have a few other menu options you can select from the drop down box. Now that you have the vehicle connected, when you're outside of the car, connected to the internet, you can hold the remote to start and stop the vehicle. You're gonna send the request to the car, Wait for it to connect. This can take up to 60 seconds. And the vehicle starts right up. Thanks for watching and comment below if you have any questions. We'll see you next time.